hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video I will show you how you can implement boundary scan and boundary scan cells and what you need to do and how you want to code it so let's begin boundary scan is a test technique that we are using for circuits so in uh, boundary scans so we have a uh, tap controller instructions identity bypass and i am going to implement tap controller instruction register and bypass the identity is not necessary i it's an optional so i'm not implementing this so and we have these green boxes is uh, the cells and the core logic the is this in the center and we have two multiplexer here if you see in this one so one is here and other is here so what we have in these yellow cells is uh, something like this one so we have inside the yellow cells we have multiplexer and flip-flop uh, D flip flop and uh, we have two multiplexer and two flip flop inside each the flip flop we have uh, another multiplexer is a, a smaller multiplexer and this uh, we are going to implement six cells in if you see so we have 12 cells six cells on the right six cells on the left but I'm not going to implement uh, six on the left and six on the right, just three on the left and three on the right. So six cells. So this one is going to be uh, the cells uh, looks like this one. So the parallel out is going out, but the serial in is connecting to each other, to the next cells so one two three four five and six and output is coming here so let's begin how we can implement this in real i'm using in uh, i'm using vivado and I, i'm using vhdl so oi, i just closed my uh, program that was uh, not all right just close it and we are going to see this is how the cells the first cell I show you in the diagram and this one is uh, this one this one uh, this is the code for this one so if you I hope you can see as uh, the code uh, it's not small so the font size is not hope it's not small uh, I hope you can see it so we have the ports uh, declaration of ports here and um, the signals and we are capturing and shifting moods and this is the multiplexer and the flip-flop and the second the normal test and the test mode and this is the second flip-flop and the output and yep that's it for the first so for the six cells we need to make a top level of the previous uh, files so this is the second or the for six cells uh, just I'm uh, created a top level so here is the inputs or the and the ports we are using uh, and uh, this is the signal uh, and this one uh, this is the signal and uh, unit one is the cell one uh, or I call that for zero so it's the unit the uh, unit cell zero it makes uh, sense for you if you uh, understand this 
So, this is the first cell, the second cell, and the third cell, and the third cell, and the fifth cell, and this is the last sixth cell, or the, the last cell. So, this is that. So, in the IR register, and uh, if you see uh, this one, uh, I think, uh, yeah. Uh, let me, yeah, we take this one. The IR, the instructions register, we have the red uh, color here. We just implementing this one. And uh, this is the IR register. The IR register has four cells inside. And uh, this is the code for the uh, one cells. And then we are making a top level for these uh, of uh, uh, these uh, uh, files. And then we implementing four cells uh, for the IR register. So this is the code for the uh, four cells and or the IR register. So this is the inputs uh, or puts we are using and the signals and uh, wait, uh, just close it. So this is the first uh, cells and uh, second cell, third and third cell. I think it's just I make, I just copy and paste that so it's uh, working for me. So you need to check something, uh, this one and you, something comes from the previous to the next and uh, yeah so then we are using implementing a, a bypass this one uh, for bypass so we need uh, just uh, one cells or the half cells uh, as we see previous so we don't need two multiplexer here we just uh, uh, need one multiplexer and one flip-flop so where well, I'm using D flip flop, so what you can use a latch or something else. So this is the code for that. And the finally, so we have uh, the tap controller. This is the big one. Here I can show you something uh, how this the tap controller works. Actually, tap controller for FSM. FSM stands for a finite state machine and if you see this uh, diagram or this uh, table or, or condition table or whatever you call it so uh, we have 16 I think 18 or 16 uh, right uh, we have a three six twelve uh, I think we have 16 uh, uh, here so we need to check for every uh, condition here so then we are going to next or we sending to the uh, s the same stage so the condition is uh, going to sh be or the tap controller uh, we are using some uh, inputs uh, there's uh, there here is the definition of puts uh, we are using and the outputs and here we are defining the signals and uh, here is the process uh, checking for the uh, reset if it's high and then we setting the TLR the first one if you see in the here so the TLR stands for test logic reset and uh, I just name it short so here we're setting some uh, default value for it and the case or the condition we are checking for the state register so here is the state register we are checking and the condition for it so here is the 16 uh, condition we are, we need to check so this is a uh, it's and now I can show the top level for it well, now we need uh, to make a top level for all these files and this top level is uh, 
going to look something like this. So I'm uh, co programming or coding this in VHDL. So you can feel free to use another language, but I recommend this in VHDL. So here we need just to define the ports. Uh, one TDO on CLK, RST, and TMS and TDI. Then we are the com. We are making a component from the basic or, or the boundary scan register, and here is the ports we are using in the boundary scan register. And uh, this is the signal we need for this, uh, and uh, this is the multiplexer if you see uh, in uh, I think uh, yeah if you see here so we have this multiplexer and this multiplexer we need to implement this also so here I'm making a signal and the clearance signal for that and uh, making uh, uh, using uh, that later so here is the port declaration for the IO register and making uh, and from uh, IO register. So here is a signal for that. And bypass cells, uh, in bypass cell we just need a half cell actually. So, or one multiplexer and one flip-flop. But in IR register we need uh, one multiplexer to flip flop in uh, uh, boundary scan register we need two multiplexer and two flip flop which has inside which it has two multiplexer so inside this also is uh, the flip flop uh, has uh, in the multiplexer the small multiplexer so here we are declaring uh, the uh, signals and uh, this is the for tap controller and the signal for tap controller we don't need because we if you see so the port mapping everything so here is the mm, tap controller uh, and this Tap controller if we see in this so the tap controller goes everything goes in this and the output from the tap controller goes to multiplexer so just we we just connecting this to this one so all outputs and now I can run a synthesis for this and you can see, and this is the declaration on uh, making a bypass and uh, uh, AND gates, three AND gates, which has an water, two has in water, and one has completely in water. Uh, so uh, I show you in the diagram the schematic in uh, in uh, VHDL in Vivado. So uh, just. Uh, it is running the synthesis. Uh, the Vivado takes uh, a little time uh, to draw the schematic, so just be patient. And that's uh, it was done actually. So uh, we can open the uh, elaborated design for this and see how the schematic will looks for this uh, implementation. So see how this uh, looks uh, for us. So this is the AND gates and uh, we have in water in here if you see it's in water, in water and in water and uh, yeah here also we have in water. So this is the first one, this is the IO register. So inside this we have four uh, cells which has inside each cells you can see this is the 
uh, inner the inside the cells we have this uh, one multiplexer two flip-flop which has uh, two multiplexer and we just close that for now for this one this is the multiplexer uh, no it was the IO register so uh, we uh, if you see so we take the RST and reset and the clock pulse and TDI and TMS which is test mood select so and this is the bypass if we open the bypass so you can see this uh, diagram or the schematic for that which uh, which is inside the um, bypass so just closing that for now and this is the cells the boundary scan cells <clears throat> this is six cells the one two three and four five six inside each cells if you see here we have one multiplexer uh, extra it's not extra but it is we are using two multiplexer and two flip-flop which has also two multiplexer inside each so here we have four multiplexer and two flip-flop so inside each cells we have the same because we just make uh, take this from a top level so and here <coughs> this is the multiplexer if you remember from <coughs> sorry if you remember this uh, multiplexer these two multiplexer we have uh, here uh, one and two and uh, this is the uh, tap controller for uh, our uh, uh, schematic or our boundary scan cell so here we have many state next state next and this is the condition we are checking so if you see so we have a nice schematic here and here uh, it's uh, the output we have seven outputs and this goes to the to control the multi the last multiplexer the output from the tap controller goes to multiplexer the last uh, multiplexer it's controlling the uh, this output so and this is what I have for now in the next uh, video so in the next lecture I will show you how you can make a simulation file for this I just made simulation for each uh, levels but uh, I just uh, need to implement for the top level so uh, I'm going to implement this for my top level and then I will show you how you can do it. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Have a good day.